This is a follow-up video to my previous video where I show how to turn an image into instances. So if you haven't watched it, I suggest that you watch it first and then come back here. Otherwise, here is the original node setup that we will be expanding on. One question that was asked after releasing the video was if it is possible to use the actual image to color the instances instead of using the C positions. And yeah, it is possible. So let me show you how to do it. First, we need to transfer the color data of the geometry to the shader. The easiest way to do this is to take the color output of the image texture and connect it to an empty input in the group output. This turns the color data into an attribute that can then be used elsewhere in Blender. But to access that attribute, we first need to give it a name. And we do that here, in the output attributes in the geometry nodes modifier. I will name the attribute col for color. Now in the material, instead of using geometry and positions like before, add an attribute node and connect the color output to the color input of the principal BSDF. With this node we can access the color attribute that we created by putting the name of the attribute in the name field. Now we just need to do one more thing to make it work, and that is to turn the instances into real geometry with the realized instances node, which allows the shader to properly sample the geometry to assign the correct colors. And there you have it. See you next time.